A stablecoin is a non-volatile cryptocurrency, typically pegged to a currency such as USD or EUR. Cryptocurrencies are notorious for their volatility, subject to the market supply and demand cycles. To alleviate this problem, stablecoins are designed to minimize their volatility by being backed by an underlying asset. Though cryptocurrencies are global currencies, coins like Bitcoin and Ether are volatile. The price of Bitcoin raised from $1,000 to $19,000 during 2017. Since it is not sustainable, users and investors require more stability in the market. Imagine that you pay $50 for dinner today and the same amount would be worth $70 tomorrow because the value of that crypto token went up. Small investors cannot handle that kind of volatility. Therefore, stable coins emerged as a new technique to drive the new way of adoption to cryptocurrencies. You might think why do we need to create fiat-backed crypto tokens instead of just using fiat currency? Decentralized currencies do not require any centralized authority to bring trust in the system, thereby reducing additional costs involved. Also, cross-border payments can be made quickly with cryptocurrencies. Backing crypto tokens with stable fiat currency or assets can add more value and build more trust among investors and users. There are three main categories that stable coins can fall into. Fiat collateralized coins, crypto collateralized coins, non collateralized coins. Fiat collateralized coins can be very easily understood. Fiat collateralized coin is when we have one type of token or crypto and they mask a pegged asset that is backed behind it. So, if you have one US dollar crypto coin, we know that there is a dollar backing it in some way, shape, or form. Tether USDT, was the first stable coin and introduced the overall concept of a fiat-backed digital currency pegged to the value of the US dollar and backed by reserves representing the total market capitalization. However, over the years since it launched in 2014, Tether was criticized for its failure to produce any audit documentation that could prove it was fully collateralized by the equivalent US dollar value. This came to a head in April 2019 after the New York Attorney General issued a court order against Tether's parent company iFinex. The incident didn't topple Tether from its position as the reigning stablecoin of choice, ranking fourth on CoinMarketCap at the time, but there are plenty of alternatives to choose from that offer a greater degree of transparency. Non-collateralized coins, also known as algorithmic stablecoins, or seigniorage supply coins don't use any collateral or peg. These are still relatively new. They don't have any collateral backing their system, and they rely on algorithms to get their price in order to remain stable. The way non-collateralized coins accomplish this is by adjusting the supply based on demand. As we all know from basic economics, supply and demand meet at an equilibrium point. If you want to change the price of something, you can alter the supply. Altering the supply will move the equilibrium point, thus ultimately changing the price. These stablecoins don't rely on banks, this is the most decentralized and independent form of stablecoin, as it isn't collateralized to any other asset. This means even if the US dollar and the entire crypto market crashes, this form of stablecoin would survive and stay stable. Top non-collateralized coins examples, basis, carbon. Crypto collateralized coins work similarly to that of a fiat collateralized coin, the only difference is that they are backed with reserves of another cryptocurrency as opposed to the fiat currency. This allows crypto collateralized coins to be much more decentralized than their fiat collateralized counterparts, since everything is conducted on the blockchain. Crypto collateralized coins are backed by a mix of cryptocurrencies rather than being backed by just a single currency. This allows for better risk distribution, the volatility risks for a single cryptocurrency is much higher than that of a combined group of cryptocurrencies. Furthermore, a stablecoin backed by a single cryptocurrency wouldn't make much sense since cryptocurrencies are extremely volatile and wouldn't make a good store of value. This is the main reason why crypto-backed stablecoins are often over-collateralized, so that it can withstand the extreme price fluctuations of the underlying cryptocurrencies. For example, let's say we deposit $200 of Ether to receive $100 of a stablecoins in return. The stablecoins are now 200% collateralized. This means if the price of Ether drops by 25%, the stablecoins can still keep its price stable as there are still $150 worth in Ether collateral backing the value of the stablecoin. 
And if the price of the underlying cryptocurrency drops low enough, the stablecoins will automatically be liquidated. Crypto collateralized stablecoins are decentralized, allowing processes to be even more secure and completely transparent. There is no single entity controlling your funds. The most popular and promising example of a crypto collateralized coin is DAI. Created by Maker DAO, DAI is a stablecoin that has a face value pegged to USD, but is actually backed by Ether that is locked up in smart contracts. It was one of the first stablecoins in the blockchain space, which means it is well established and this gives it an early mover advantage. This crypto collateralized coin uses a unique approach to maintain its price. Unlike other currencies backed by fiat, it uses a system of collateralized debt position CDP, smart contracts supported by Ethereum. The advantage is that the banking system is not part of the process. The system is 100% transparent and decentralized and the collateral cannot get seized by the government, as it is locked in blockchain smart contracts. However, the risk here is that the value of the collateral backing DAI is highly volatile itself, and in the event of wild market fluctuation there is a risk that the collateral will not be sufficient to maintain the peg. There is another significant downside with a system like Maker DAO. Maker DAO is a stablecoin system based on the contract layer. As a computer trading agreement that enforces contract terms, smart contracts are open to all users, which means that potential internal security vulnerabilities are exposed to hackers and are therefore more vulnerable. Compared to MakerDAI, WakeyChain WUSD has given us a new payment revolution crypto collateralized coin option. WakeyChain WUSD is the same as MakerDAO but it provides more advanced advantages, such as risk emergency mechanism, innovative governance system, technical support for public chain conflict, more speed of the block. WakeyChain stablecoin WUSD is the world's first and only stablecoin based on the bottom layer technology of the public chain and the three token economic model. WUSD is not a smart contract token system. It's based on the bottom layer of the Wakey Chain public chain. It's more reliable and more difficult to be attacked. Wakey Chain WUSD and DAI are crypto collateral coins. Regarding in the circulation efficiency, DAI is based on the high jam ether, an extra fee will be charged to transfer. But WUSD is developed on the bottom layer of Wakey Chain Public Chain, it produces block every 3 seconds and the transaction fee is only 0.01 WUSD. Using WUSD is a lot faster comparing to other coins and its cost is really low. Wakey Chain WUSD is the key innovation in the stablecoin area. It is very promising. Unique Advantages of WUSD Brighter prospect of landing with Wakey Chain DAP as initial circulation support. Stronger risk resilience, including unique risk reserve mechanism. Better security, manageability and expandability comparing to the contract-based development type. Protection from local currency crashes. In case, the fiat currency crashes in value, local citizens can exchange the crashed money for your backed, USD-backed, or asset-backed stablecoins before they lose their savings. In this way, people get protected from further drops in the value of the local currency. For example, currently, Venezuela is facing hyperinflation. The prices of goods in that country have been doubling almost every week on average. Annual inflation rate at the end of 2018 in Venezuela was 80,000%. Most of the citizens cannot even afford food as their savings became worthless and the value continued to drop with each passing day. Stablecoins can offer an ideal solution to all such people by allowing them to exchange their dropped currency holdings with a stable currency. Quick and affordable remittances for migrant workers. Today, migrant workers send payments through platforms like Western Union to transfer money back to their loved ones and family. This complete process is quite expensive and slow due to which families lose a big chunk of funds due to high fees. Crypto collateralized stablecoin is the best solution to this problem as workers and their families can use digital wallets across the globe to transfer stablecoins instantly with low fees and no volatility. 
Compare to other stablecoins WakeyChain WUSD is the best solution for this problem. Because the transaction fee is 0.01 WUSD. And WakeyChain public chain produces a block every 3 seconds. It's very speed. 